Hey, today we're gonna talk about leaving your comfort zone as a software developer. How do you do it? What's it like? Let's take a look. So as a software developer, definitely to keep learning, to keep pushing ourselves, you need to really get comfortable with being uncomfortable, so to speak. You have to really leave your comfort zone. And what I mean by that is that learning programming is difficult. So you're not going to be able to pick up a book and learn everything you need about programming, web development in one sitting. You're really gonna have to work really hard. There's so many different technologies. There's so many different parts of the stack between the front end, the back end, how you actually deal with version control systems, how you deploy code, how you test code. There's so many different things that, especially if you're a beginner, it's pretty overwhelming and you have to be able to really push yourself and go beyond beyond the basics, essentially. I actually had this happen to me the other day. I'm not gonna get into specifics, but I was given an assignment to do some CSS work. And that is something I have always been really kind of avoiding. I know enough CSS to get around. I've used Bootstrap in the past, but I was given a CSS uh, Adobe Illustrator file and I needed to convert it over to just CSS and HTML. And that's something I haven't really done before. I've done some with Sketch, but I've never done anything like that. So I spent hours and hours and hours of time working on it. Now, when I was given this assignment, I could have just said no and said, you know, I don't want to do this. This is outside my comfort zone. You know, I do JavaScript. I do this, this, but I don't do CSS. But I really put a lot of effort into it. And uh, to be honest with you, when I got done with it, I wasn't proud of what I created. It was good. I mean, it looked like the Illustrator file I was given, but there's definitely some mistakes in it. And the person I gave it to told me of that. He said, this is wrong and this is wrong. So it's definitely something I went out of my comfort zone. And now I'm going to learn from that experience. I'm going to learn what to do and what not to do in the future. So it's definitely something that I even today that I, I deal with in a, on a daily basis. Just try to keep pushing myself, even though I'm comfortable in some areas, I really can get better in CSS. And that's what I'm going to be actually doing for the next uh, few months is just trying to get my CSS skills up to, to par to try to get them even better than they are now, because you know, I, I definitely can learn a lot more. So as a developer, you know, like I said, we're definitely, uh, you're definitely going to uh, have situations where you need to really push yourself and, and get outside your comfort zone. Um, in your day-to-day -day job, like I said, with, with the CSS, I didn't know a lot about it, that I had to really push myself and put myself out there, even though I kind of had a bad result, you know, I, I grew stronger in that. So definitely keep that in mind. It's a learning process. You really have to work hard and you have to be able to do things that other people aren't willing to do. Um, there was kind of talk the other day about, uh, I was watching a video um, on coding phase, which is a buddy of mine. And he was talking about how definitely he feels like there's a lot of different uh, people on YouTube doing programming videos. And there's only a, kind of a few people that are on the top and then there's a few people on the bottom. And he was trying to really say that to get, to, to be able to kill it, you have to be able to to differentiate yourself and to really go out outside your comfort zone. He was talking about at the beginning of his journey where he felt really uncomfortable talking in front of a camera and he's done so often so much that he's gotten a lot better and I can really relate to that too because I've had the same thing happen to me when I first did my first video which you can find if you look here in, in my channel from some of my first videos I was so nervous I went to a, co uh, a co-working space in town I sat down I wrote up a script word by word and I set up my camera and I literally did the video, probably I took like 30 takes of it and spent maybe four hours there for a three minute video. And I kept on doing the video over and over and over again and I couldn't get it right and I couldn't get the lighting. Actually I was there so long that the, the lighting kept changing and I didn't have nice lights or anything so I kept on moving around the, the co-working space to try to get the right lighting. It was pretty awful experience and then when I finally got the footage on my uh, after I, I did all the, the video and I went home to actually edit the, the video I noticed like it still was kind of dark and it wasn't quite right and I almost wanted just to like throw out all that footage that four or five hours and I didn't even want to do it I didn't even want to put it up online 
but I kind of forced myself. I went out of my outside of my comfort zone and I started, I put it out online. I think that's kind of a lesson that we should all learn. If it's coding or doing online videos or anything else, you just gotta do it. And the first few times you're gonna do it, it's you're gonna suck at it. Just like the first time I did this Adobe Illustrator to HTML, CSS assignment, I wasn't that great at it. But you know, I had to put myself out there. I had to get outside my comfort zone. I'm gonna learn from it and I'm gonna get better. So if I have to do those things again, I'm gonna do even better. So I, I think that's a good lesson to learn. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button below, that really helps me. Also, if you see at the description below, I have some links to some amazing content, amazing videos from Udemy. If you can go ahead and just click those, take a look at those courses, that really helps me out. Those are actually affiliate links. So I really appreciate it if you click on those and buy something. Take care.